Hello and welcome back to my 30 day yoga challenge. This is day 10. Today's class is a beginner's yoga flow for leg strength. So take a moment and find a comfortable position. The spine nice and tall, relaxing the shoulders down the back. And then we'll gently close the eyes. Just taking a moment just to observe how you're feeling today. Being aware of how is your physical body, how is your breath, and how is your mind? Take a few slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose, and in your mind, tell yourself to relax. And as always, if you have more time, I'd recommend using, watching my breathing for beginners video. There's a link below. We'll start to blink open the eyes and then start to circle the shoulders, relaxing the shoulders and waking up the body. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And then when you're ready, supporting the outside of the knees, we'll draw them up. We'll turn to the side and we'll make our way into child's pose. So bringing the weight onto the heels, lowering the chest down and resting the forehead on the ground if it touches or just lowering in that direction. So just a reminder. This is the most neutral posture in yoga. If you need to rest at any time in the class, come into this pose, listen to your own body, and then come back into the practice when you're ready. So we'll inhale, come back into table. So the knees underneath the hips, the hands underneath the shoulders. As you inhale, lower the abdomen, look up to wherever you can see, and exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the upper back. Inhale, lower the abdomen, looking up towards the ceiling. And exhale, draw the abdomen in and up and round the back. One more, inhale, lower the abdomen, looking up. And exhale, gently round. Well, inhale into a neutral position. And as you exhale, walk your hands one space forward, tuck under the toes, and lift the hips up and back into downward facing dog. So gently walking out the legs, bending one leg and the other, encouraging the heels towards the ground, encourage a gentle stretch on the back of the legs. Inhaling and exhaling nice and slowly through the nose. And we can also gently wobble the hips from side to side. We'll take a breath in, and as you exhale, lower all the way down into plank, bend your knees, and we'll come back into child. So we're going to do this again to really warm up the body. So inhale, coming to table. Exhale now, round the back in cat. Inhale, lower the abdomen, look up towards the ceiling in cow pose. And exhale, walk the hands forward, tuck under the toes and come up into downward facing dog. And inhale, lower the hips into plank. Exhale, bend the knees and come back into child. So really linking your breath to each movement. We'll do one more time when you're ready. Nice slower breaths. Inhale, coming to table. Exhale, round the back in cat. Inhale, lower the abdomen, look towards the ceiling. And we'll exhale, tuck under the toes, walk the hands one space forward and come up to downward facing dog. Slightly different this time, we'll inhale, raise the left leg up, step the foot forward, bring your hands on the inside, the other heel on the ground and pivot towards me into a wide standing forward fold, lining up the feet. And we'll bend the knees round the back, come all the way up to standing. And we'll relax the shoulders a few times down the back, nice slow breathing. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Now we'll bring the hands onto the hips, checking the feet are parallel. And then we'll turn your right foot out and bend the knee to come into warrior two. So checking the knee is roughly above the angle, ankle and the hands roughly in line with the shoulders. So we'll take a breath in, straighten the arms and legs and exhale, re-bend the knee back into warrior two. Inhale, stretch up to the ceiling, straighten the leg and exhale back into warrior two. One more time, inhale, stretching up, and exhale, now pausing. Resting on the knee, we'll inhale, stretch and open the arm, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale, gently lower. Last time, inhale, coming up, and we'll exhale, lower the arm down, and we'll inhale, come back into warrior two. Now resting on the straight leg. Inhale, stretching over to reverse warrior. Exhale, lowering the arm back into warrior two. Inhale, stretching, opening, and exhale back to the center. Inhale, back into reverse warrior. 
and exhale back into warrior two bring the hands onto the hips and we'll straighten the front leg and heel to the left foot in to come into triangle so trying to line up those hips draw their hips towards the left we'll inhale lift the right hand up to the ceiling exhale stretching out to the side lowering down as you raise your left hand up so trying to twist the torso as much as was comfortable and looking up either to the ceiling or up towards your hands nice slow breathing on your next breath in coming up We'll exhale, bring our hands onto the hips, turn our feet to the parallel, and then we'll turn the left foot out to do the, all the same on the other side. So bending the left knee, hands in warrior two. Take a breath in, straighten the legs, stretching up, and exhale back into warrior two. Inhale, straightening, stretching up. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, stretching up, and exhale back into warrior two. Now resting on the bent knee. Inhale, raising the arm up overhead and exhale lower. Inhale, raise the arm up over and exhale lower. Last time, inhale, raising up and exhale lower. Inhale, come back into warrior two and exhale to reverse warrior. Inhale, back into warrior two and exhale to reverse warrior. Last time, inhale, back into warrior two and exhale to reverse warrior. We'll inhale back into warrior two, exhale, bring your hands onto the hips, straighten your left leg and we'll heel to your right leg to come into triangle. So now drawing the hips towards the right, we'll inhale, stretch the left hand up to the ceiling, exhale, lowering out to the side and then lowering that hand down as you raise the right, but twisting the torso to look to wherever feels comfortable. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. On your next breath and very slowly we'll come all the way back up. Exhale, bring the hands on the hips, we'll turn the feet so they um, slightly out, the toes out, the heels are in, and we'll come into goddess. So elbows roughly in line with the shoulders. Take a breath in and as you exhale, lower the hands down. Inhale, rebending the elbows and exhale, lower. One more, inhale, rebending the elbows, we'll exhale, lower, bring the hands onto the hips. Now we'll inhale, lift the right heel. Pause for a moment, nice slow breathing, exhaling, lowering. And then we'll inhale, lift the left heel. Pause for a moment, and then exhale, gently lower. And then we'll inhale, straighten the legs, stretch the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the hands back onto the hips. And then we'll turn the hips into warrior two. Lowering the hands down, we'll step back into onto our knees and we'll come back into child's pose and we'll do all of the same again in the other direction so just resting here for a moment nice slow breathing and now on your next breath in we'll come back into table checking the knees are underneath the hips inhale lower the abdomen look up towards the ceiling and exhale round the back inhale lower the abdomen look up towards the ceiling and exhale gently around one more inhale lower the abdomen look up towards the ceiling and exhale gently around drawing the back of the heart up we'll inhale into a neutral position walk the hands one space forward and come up into a downward facing dog so again we can rock the hips from side to side to encourage a nice stretch in the back nice slow breathing and bending and straightening the legs Gently encouraging the heels towards the mat to have a stretch in the back of the legs, spreading the fingers. Then we'll lower the hips into plank, gently bend the knees, come all the way back down into child to come into our mini flow routine. So really link your breath and your movement. Inhale, come to table. Exhale, round the back in cat. Inhale, lowering the abdomen, look up towards the ceiling and exhale. Walking the hands one space forward, tuck under the toes and come up into downward facing dog. Inhale, lower the hips into plank, exhale, bend the knees and come back into child. So last time, when you're ready, inhale, come back into table, exhale, round the back in cat. Inhale, lower the abdomen, look towards the ceiling and exhale once more, coming to downward facing dog. This time, you're going to inhale when you're ready, raising the right leg up, so you're doing the opposite form from me, step the foot forward, bring the hands on the inside of the leg and spin the left heel back down onto the ground to come into a wide standing forward fold. 
making the feet of the parallel. We'll inhale, bend the knees, round the back, come all the way up to standing. Last thing is the head, relaxing the shoulders a few times down the back. Nice, slow breathing. And now once more, we're going to check that the feet are parallel before we start. We'll turn the left foot out this time, bending the knee, checking the ankle and the knee are in line, hands in line with the shoulders. Inhale, stretch up, straightening the leg. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, stretch up, straightening the leg, and exhale to warrior two. Last time, inhale, and exhale. Resting on the bent leg, then we'll inhale, stretch over. Exhale, lower the arm. Inhale, stretch over, and exhale, gently lower. Last time, inhale, stretching over. And we'll exhale, come back into warrior two. Take a breath in. Exhale now, resting on the straight leg, come into reverse warrior. Inhale to warrior two, and exhale to reverse warrior. Inhale back into warrior two, and exhale last time into reverse warrior. Inhale back into warrior two, we'll exhale bring the hands onto the hips, straighten the leg, and now we'll heel to in the right foot to come into triangle. Bring your hips now towards the right, Inhale, stretch the left hand up to the ceiling. Exhale, stretching across, lowering the hand down as we raise the right hand. Nice, slow breathing, trying to twist the torso, looking up to the ceiling as much as feels comfortable. Really stretching the side of the body. Nice, slow breaths. Now on your next breath in, we'll gently come all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands onto your hips, turn your feet to your, they're parallel, and then we'll turn the right leg out bending the knee and come back into warrior two. Take a breath in, stretch the up, straightening the leg, and exhale, re-bend the knee, lowering the hands. Inhale, straighten the leg, stretch up, and exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, stretching up, and exhale, now coming back into warrior two, we'll rest on the bent leg, inhale, stretch the arm up overhead, and exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten the arm up overhead, and exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, stretching up overhead. We'll just pause this time for a moment. Exhale, coming back into warrior two, resting on the straight leg. We'll inhale, stretch the arm up over, and exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, stretching up and over, and exhale, back to warrior two. Last time, inhale, stretching up and over, We'll exhale, come back into warrior two, bring the hands onto the hips, straighten the leg, we'll heel toe the left foot in to come into triangle. Now when you're ready, drawing the hips towards the left. Inhale, stretch the right arm up to the ceiling, exhale, stretching over to the right, lowering it down as you raise your left hand, twisting the torso and looking up to wherever feels comfortable. Nice, slow breathing here. On your next breath in, when you're ready, we'll slowly come back up. Exhale, bring your feet so they're parallel. We'll bend the knees, turning out the toes, heels in, bending the arms into goddess pose. Nice, slow breathing. Slightly different this time. We're going to lift up the right heel, pause here, and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up the left heel, just pause for a moment, and then exhale, lower. And then we'll sit down slightly lower, inhale, straighten up, bring the hands onto the hips, bring the feet so they're parallel, inhale, stretch the hands up to the ceiling, and we'll exhale, come into a wide forward fold, so resting wherever feels comfortable. You can bend and straighten the legs to encourage a nice stretch in the back of the hamstrings around the hips and in the lower back. Nice slow breathing here, and then resting down wherever feels comfortable. And then we can always have the knees bent if it feels more comfortable. To come out of this pose, we'll inhale, bend the knees, round the back, come all the way up to standing, relaxing the shoulders a few times. And then we'll bring the hands onto the hips and heel toe the feet together. And we'll walk out the legs before we come into a strengthening balance. So now bringing all of the weight onto your left foot, find something in front of you to focus your attention and we'll lift up the right knee and then we'll straighten the right leg, just pausing using the strength in the leg. Take a breath in and on your exhale, gently lower down. Bring now all of the weight onto your right foot. On your next breath in, bending the left leg. 
pausing, we can straighten the leg using the strength in the thigh, take a breath in, and as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Now we'll inhale when you're ready, lift up the heels, exhale gently lower, bring the hands in a prayer in front of the heart, we'll take a breath in, and as you exhale, gently bend to the knees, lifting the heels, we'll lower all the way down into a closed squat, just pausing for a moment, and then we'll take a breath in, as you exhale, bring the hands onto the floor, nice and slow and controlled, support your body and we'll come down into a seated position. So if you would prefer to finish in Shavasana, you can pause this video and come straight into the Shavasana and rest for a few moments. Otherwise, just pausing here. This has come to the end of the practice, just observing how the body feels, closing the eyes. Are there any changes in your physical body? Are there any changes in your breath and your mind? And again, if you have more time, I always recommend finishing the practice with a guided meditation, which you can find a link below. Just observing how you are. Just giving yourself a moment to relax. Always remember to thank yourself for dedicating time to you and your own health and well-being. We'll gently bring, open the eyes, bring the hands here in front of the heart, and we'll finish with Namaste. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below or click the like button if you've enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.